Greetings gentlemen, ladies, old school game snob here. In today's video, I'm using a line trace to uh, basically shoot underneath my character when I hold down a key and get the ground slope angle that I'm on. As you can see, as I hike up this mountain, this ground slope angle is going to increase. Going to increase, I suspect. <laughs> there we go. I mean, it's starting to increase, right? Seven degrees. That's, is that actually just seven degrees, I guess? I don't know. Looks more like a steeper angle to me, but... Um, 45 degrees would be, like, quite steep. Yeah, no, that's probably about right. That's probably, yeah, probably about right. Um, yeah. So there we go, ground slope angle based on where the player's standing. I think. I'm pretty sure that's working. <laughs> it seems to work uh, when we get over to the flat. Um... One degree, two degrees, three degrees, etc. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's head over somewhere steeper. There we go. Let's head over to that little steep area and see what we can see. So this looks quite steep right here. I would imagine if I stood, stood quite... No, I can't stand there. Because yeah, I'm stuck. That's fine. But yeah, actually, you can, you can see that. Okay, so this does seem to be working. I think this is working. I think this is working pretty good. Actually, yeah, that would be about right, I would say. 25 degrees. There we go. We have a really steep slope over there. Bum, bum, bum. 30 degrees. Yeah, I'd say. I'd say so. Very steep here. Minus 20, minus 25. Yeah, yeah, that seems pretty good to me. That seems about right. Okay, so here's how to do that. <laughs> now that I've established that indeed it is. The thing I'm going to try to show you how to do is indeed actually working. I think it is. I think it is. It seems to be. Anyway, here's how you do it. All right, so what you're going to start by doing is getting your player pawn and then getting your actor location of your player pawn. You're going to do a little vector minus vector node. I've actually got my my Z to 15,000. That's probably way more than is needed, but that basically just tells it the, the tells the line trace to go down so far and in my case it's really far but it doesn't really matter I think because the ground is only as far as the ground is uh, then you're going to do a line based trace by channel plug in actor location to start and this um, vector minus vector of course we're minusing the Z so we, that just says to shoot the line trace straight down uh, we're ignoring self for this I have a debug uh, for duration just to show the, where the line is coming out uh, visibility by channel and then of course we're going to break the hit result right click break 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 hit oh sorry that's not right that's not how break hit result like so I'm um, getting just the reference to the player pawn again just to keep things a little bit more tidy getting display name uh, actually that's that's not needed sorry that was for debugging uh, I'm getting actor right vector I'm getting actor up vector Right vector goes into the my right axis. Up, of course, goes into up vector, and then we're getting the get slope degrees by angle. Uh, get slope oh, degrees uh, angles. There we go, not by angle, but slope degrees angles. And then for the out slope roll degree angle, I'm just printing that like that, and that's how you, that's it. And that's how you get the the um, the ground slope angle directly beneath your character hope you guys have enjoyed this video all right i'm just working on a ski feature sort of a sort of a sliding down the mountain feature and so i figure i need to see figure out how how steep the 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 train is and so that's kind of what i'm working on here